All right, here we are, back to uh, our D-Day at Iwo Jima series. Uh, my name is Mike, or as the video says, Pelly, and uh, we are ready for turn two. Uh, switched to my uh, other <laughs> um, uh, tripod because uh, the other the one I was using on the first video was just a little too wonky. This one gives me a little more control. So we are ready for the amphibious phase. And we only have one stack of units that needs to be landed. And that's those little dudes right there. And they can land into either uh, Red Turn 1 or Red Turn 2. Or, uh, I'm sorry, Red Beach 1 or Red Beach 2. Uh, so we are going to probably bring them in here on Red 2. First of all, it's got fewer fire dots. Second of all, we've got this little area here clear. Red is disrupted. Uh, purple's an issue but uh, you know we've got places to land them here because we don't have many units so we can probably split them up and uh, uh, and land them on uh, on both of the both of the landing hexes so let's see what we got uh, no purple no purple we got purple sweet all right reds disrupted so that's not an issue uh, but we do have purple so we are going to have to and that is a circle so we're going to have to uh, hit number, uh, hit this guy, and there's no drift. Oh, actually, wait, 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 my bad. Okay, I was looking at the wrong thing. It's green, it's green. I almost made a mistake that I've seen in other people's videos. Uh, but yeah, it's green. There is no green there, so we are good. There's no drift. So everybody's just going in wherever I want them to go. Uh, so I will put these two here, and I will put these two there, and that is now. Now, game turn three, and yes, I did uh, copy and paste what's in the book so I can make it a lot easier for me to look at uh, and grab those units that are coming in. So we got game turn three. We've got, and I probably should have done this before I started the video, is, is set these up and got them ready. Uh, but we've got, let me put this here just so everybody can see it. Uh, I don't know how well you can see it, but I'm going to do it. Alright, so we got 3rd uh, uh, Battalion, 28th to 28th Regiment, or 3rd Regiment, 28th, no, 3rd, <laughs> I don't know, I'm not a military guy, so um, I apologize for that, but anyway, the 328 is coming in, and they're coming in on green or red 1, so I'll stack them right there. Um, and then we've got uh, um, one uh, first battalion fifth tank is also coming in green or red one. That sucks because I'm gonna have to do a whole other card draw just for that one unit. Um, all right, 323 is coming in at yellow one. Uh, 225 is coming in at B one. Blue 1, 225, and 23rd Heavy Weapons and 25th Heavy Weapons coming in at yellow or blue. So let's keep 23rd near the 23rd and let's keep the 25 near the 25th. Now I don't want to land on blue 2. I can't, I can't tell where I'm filming. Alright, there we go. I don't want to land on blue two because I got, uh, well, I can land on blue two as soon as I take care of green. And actually, it w oh, because black, that's why, because black is, is an intent, uh, uh, in the field of fire and I don't want to get pummeled by black. So as long as I can avoid landing on B2, I'm going to. So I'll put this guy over here and we'll see what, uh, what comes up, if anything. Actually, I could land him here because it's not in their field of fire normally and stars aren't going to get hit on the landing because the landing is only the regular symbols right so I could land him there and he won't get hit so I might just do that yeah okay alright so uh, there we go now we're ready for our um, uh, we've done amphibious landing so and I forgot to put the card there but that's fine I kind of use it kind of don't um, so we're ready for our first event phase because event phase starts in game turn two. 
So let's see what kind of event we get. Uh, those of you unfamiliar with the way uh, D-Day at Iwo Jima works, um, these events are not game turns, they're dates. And so anything that um, is on or, uh, on or before that date, that's what's gonna happen. So we're on the 19th of February. So landing um, the UKW swamped. So our artillery is swamped. I think what that event means, I'm gonna back up a little bit here and I gotta grab the rule book because that's where the event descriptions are. I did not make cards for those because I figure it's in the back of the book. It's nice and easy to refer to. But I think that means we don't get artillery points or something like that. Uh, so let's see, that's right here. Uh, landing, uh, duck walker is what I call them. I don't know why, but that's what I do. Lose one artillery point scheduled to land that day. Instead, record it as landing earliest turn next day. All right, so the day is the 19th. So we're gonna lose an infantry, or we're gonna lose an artillery point, which I have been, I can't remember on the first turn whether uh, I get uh, naval and uh, airstrike. I'm gonna have to look at that real quick. Uh, actually, I think, I think, I think, I think I have a card for naval and airstrike. One point each on game turn two, four, and six. Must be used on the turn received. All right, so I get naval and airstrike on this turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that. And we did not get any markers to mark naval and airstrike. So what I have done is taken these useless markers for the letter actions, and I'm using them for naval and airstrike. I have an A for airstrike. I don't have an N, but an M is close enough. So that to me is Mavel. Uh, so I get one point each of those. I have to use them on this turn. Now I do have some, some revealed units, but I'm gonna have to figure out how, how I'm gonna use those this turn. Uh, however, I uh, am going to lose, according to that event, I'm gonna lose an, one artillery point Scheduled to land that day, and then land early the next day. So if you see here on my little card, uh, let's see, do, 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 do. okay, on game turn five, we will get two points of fourth division artillery. On game turn six, we'll get three points of fourth division artillery and seven of fifth division. So basically, what I'm interpreting this this event to mean is that. One of those points, I'm not going to get now. I'm going to get on the 20th. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i try to remember. Um, but uh, uh, we'll see. If I don't remember it, I mean, let's be honest, one point of artillery is not going to be that big of a deal. Uh, but I will, let's see. I'll put a marker down. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll just, I'll take this R. I'm going to stick it up here over game turn uh, six no game turn five when well i can choose i mean it doesn't say which which time, when it's going to land so i'm going to i'm going to choose whatever's going to come in on game turn seven so i'm going to put an r but or game turn six i'm going to put an r above that just to remind myself when hopefully i remember i know that you guys can't talk to me and keep me honest but whatever uh, and I'll try to remember, I will give myself one fewer point then, and I'll give myself one extra point, I'm assuming here, on game turn nine when I get more artillery points. All right. So let's hope that works. All right. So we have done our first event phase. I'll go ahead and put that there. And now our fun Japanese fire phase. So let's see what hits us. All right, boom. Uh, okay, we got purple, we got blue, we got green. Purple is a star, I said in video one, that although uh, Jeff Yost said that uh, the lettered actions don't happen until game turn seven, I'm assuming the star still does. But this, this actually said, before I cross it out, it said star starts on, on turn three. So you know what? 
I'm going to get pummeled in this game anyway, so I'm going to say that that star doesn't happen. It's game turn two. I mean, it's either game turn three or game turn seven, right? So it's game turn two. Either way, I'm safe. So I'm going to say it's not going to hit those star units. All right, so we've got purple, we've got blue, and we've got green. So let's zoom in a little bit here and let's see what we have. Okay. So, purple first. Uh, okay, those guys are good. Um, once again, we didn't get red, we didn't get brown. So these guys remain disrupted, which is kind of nice. Yellow remains disrupted, so we can take him out this turn. Red remains disrupted, so we can advance on that. Uh, unfortunately for the other guys, they're going to get popped. Uh, so, purple, we got a purple here. This guy fires. He fires... It's a circle. Let's see. Uh, so I'm at this guy right here. I got to make sure I've got you in my frame. I'm kind of on the other on the side of the uh, of the um, camera, so I'm not looking at the display while I'm doing this. So got to make sure y'all can see me. All right. So this guy's gonna fire over here. He's gonna hit the ones closest. Oh, that's right. This guy does not have a purple field of fire, so he won't actually hit these guys. So the question is. If I'm occupying that position, are these guys still in intense field of fire? <laughs> Interesting conundrum. Well, we're going to say we are, just because I'm not going to sweat it. Alright, so that means this guy is probably closest, so he's going to take a hit. So there is my circular unit. He will be disrupted, and now we are on an even turn, so we will use the lighter side. I'm going to try to remember this. I'm not going to guarantee that I will. All right, so that guy gets popped. It's kind of weird it's going over the top of this guy, but whatever. We'll say they're down deep in a trench or something, and they're still able to fire over the top of them. Uh, probably getting that wrong, but say lovey. All right, uh, there's no other purples where I'm in the field of fire, so we move on to blue. Uh, we've got a blue up here. All right, we've got one unit that could potentially be in the field of fire for blue, uh, and that is this guy. And he is in a steady field of fire because I made a circle there. Um, and just for those of you that you know may be wondering, um, if you can see, I mean, the circles that I made uh, I did not make the, uh, you know, the, the standard steady field of fire that's kind of checkerboarded. Uh, I tried way over here, and you probably can't tell all that well, but I tried to do circles with slashes through them over here in the purple and the blue. Uh, my Sharpies were a little fat. I didn't like the way that looked. And I figured since unlike um, D-Day at Omaha where you have... Uh, open circles that mean that the only thing that can happen to units there is they get disrupted. There are none of those in this game. So I figure, well, I'm blinging it out the way I want to. I just made it easy and I just made open circles for steady fire and closed circles for intense fire. So that's what's going on there. All right. So this guy, if I have a circle, he's toast. I do not have a circle. Uh, so he does not get hit. So that is a good thing. Oh, 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 but. I do have black, which he's in uh, steady, so he doesn't get hit. There's no black circle here. Um, so if I do get in here, I'm taking it at face value that he's down deep in, in the position there and he can't get hit. Uh, it may be a mistake on the part of the manufacturer, but I'm going to you know, go with the fact that uh, Jeff Yost said that the black positions are indeed correct on here. So... Um, if I do get there, I'm sorry, you probably couldn't see where I was pointing. Now I'm pointing at this green position here. Um, and if I do get there, when I do get there, I won't say if because I'm going to, um, I'm going to take that as not being able to be hit by black. All right, so uh, I have nothing else in black field of fire at the current moment. Uh, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, so that was blue there. Uh, the blue over here is disrupted, so he loses his disruption marker, which isn't a horrible thing. He doesn't have close combat, so I don't have to worry about that. And I've got him flanked, so I'll be able to take him out this turn regardless. But he doesn't fire on me, so that's a good thing. 
Uh, and that is all the blue that can fire on me. So green. Yeah, this pesky dude over here by Surabachi is going to fire on me. Um, I do not have a circle there. However, I am in intense field of fire. So you know, that guy's going to take a hit. Or if I have a circle here, I do have a circle. And he is not hit. However, uh, I'm going to... I know I said I'd pause to do this, but... Um, I'm going to go ahead and look real quick uh, at the Japanese fire. Um, ah. Alright, so if I need to select from among units with one of these priorities, select the unit closest to the firing position, sorry, over here. Uh, so, let's see, uh, if a number of uh, U.S. units are eligible to be hit, then the following priority. Priority one is intense field of fire. Okay, I got a bunch of those because I got two positions there that are in intense field of fire. Number two, uh, after checking all intense field of fire, Japanese position is not raised. Okay, well, they're in intense field of fire. I can skip priority two and priority three. Uh, so, if I need to select from units with one of those priorities, select the unit closest to the firing position. That's number one. And then it will be the unit with the most steps. So, unfortunately, that means my already wounded dude, as opposed to one of these guys, is going to get hit. Now, that was a that was a that was a uh, a danger of moving these guys in. But I got to try to take that green position. So, um, uh, I'm not going to be able to attack it now. Anyway, well. This guy, unfortunately, he takes a second step loss, and so I gotta flip him. Now, I will say this, all right? I did go through, and he's disrupted, by the way. Let me get to that late disruption. And that is fifth Marines. Right, right. Uh, I did go through the FAQ and, and Jeff Yost replies to certain people and whatnot. Uh, and Jeff Fike, when he was doing his videos, did get something wrong. Um, the step loss unit, the step loss is actually, I don't even need to put that there. Uh, I put the step loss up here, but I don't need to because the step loss counters do not count uh, for infantry losses. Uh, Jeff Yost did clarify that uh, step loss, uh, that uh, full units are catastrophic losses. Catastrophic loss limit is four for any one division. Um, but from the Q&A, eliminated infantry count as one, but not, um, I had originally wrote unit and step loss marker, but after going through the Q&A, he did in fact say that only full infantry count as a catastrophic loss. So, that, what happened right there, is not a catastrophic loss. So I will take the step marker, I'll put it back in my step marker uh, cup. Alright, it's unfortunate that he's already, that one unit's already down two steps. So I'm going to have to heal him. I can heal on, ah, when can I heal? Um, because on on the first day, eh, where is it? Heroes HQ fortifications and oh replacement points. Here we go. Uh, on the first day, oh I can I can use on game turn two, so that would be during the HQ phase, which was during the landing phase. So I could have healed him up. I can use eight total points during day one. So let's say I did that. All right, and I know I threw a step loss point thing in there, but whatever. Um, so this guy is actually still at, he was at full health. I used a point. I'm going to mark it off now. Um, and now he got hit again, so he's down a step loss. All right. So let me back up. And again, I told you I was going to do this uh, if I needed to. Uh, but that was a 5th Division 
replacement point. So I'm going to use one fifth division. And I'm doing the same thing uh, Jeff Fight did in his videos. Again, if you haven't watched Jeff's videos, I'm sorry. I'm referring to him because I just watched them like the other day. Um, but they, the sixth scenario says you get 60 total points per division. Okay, well, the point marker only goes up to 39. That's weird. So anyway, you put them on, if you put them on a Japanese record track uh, at 20, it's basically 30, 39, 49, 59, 60. All right, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, so I've just marked one off of that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure out uh, which units here I probably should have uh, repaired on turn two. So, uh, that guy's good. Uh, I'm going to say, I definitely want to, oh, wait, wait, wait. I think it said, though, I can only use infantry. Uh, is that right? Is that right? Uh, no, eight total, eight total. All right. So I'm going to repair that tank. Oh, wait, tanks cannot repair in intense field of fire. That dude's in intense field of fire. So I can't repair that tank. So that sucks. All right, this guy's disrupted. He's got a step loss. Uh, yeah, I'll heal him. Okay, so that's one point for fourth division. So that was two total. I want to. I want to save a few for the fifth turn when I can heal again, because uh, I might have some two step losses by then. Uh, but I want to help these guys who are in, sorry, uh, who are in the fray, or in the thick of things. Uh, that guy I think I'm going to leave for now. Up here we've got, okay, did he just take a, yeah, I think he just took a, took a hit, so I can't heal him. So this is where, yeah, it would have been better if I had remembered this before, because I can remember who actually took a hit. Um, Alright, I'm not too worried about these guys down here. There's some guys over here though. Uh, maybe in this green field of fire because green is still active. Uh, and I know that green hit that guy and not these guys. So if I heal this guy up. I'm sorry, I'm off screen again. So I grabbed. Ah, I'm all the way over here at Suribachi again. So. I had healed this guy, and I have this stack that was right there, all right? There's a guy with a step loss in here. I'm figuring green's going to be fire on them, and, and i got to keep these guys healthy. So I'm going to heal this step loss on this guy. Now, the only hit he had on this turn was in this stack. So uh, I'll heal that. That is another point of fifth division. So that's three total I've used. Three total I've used. Uh... So anyone else over here in fourth division that desperately needs it? Because if not, I'll save it for the fifth turn. All right, there's this guy, but I think he, did he just get hit? No, he didn't. Uh, yeah, that's right. That was disrupted and I took the disruption marker off. So if this guy's in the fray of things, I might want to go ahead and take his step loss off. All right, so I'll do that. And that, oh, that's fifth again. Well, is that worth it? Yeah, it's probably worth it because no, because fifth is going to get just torn to shreds by Suribachi. So uh, I need to try to ration those replacement points for, for fifth division. So uh, let's look at this stack in fourth division. I probably got a crap ton of... I just got the one. Hmm, okay. All right, well, I'll heal this guy. I'll heal this guy. And that's four. That's two and two. Two in each division. That saves me four for the fifth turn when I can heal again. Uh, and then, um, right, so I got eight total, in and, and I don't know if, I don't know if this, because uh, this is, this is what applies for uh, scenario one, right? Uh, I'm playing the full scenario, which uses the scenario one setup rules, but may not, I'm going to go ahead and stick to this just, just because uh, it's there, but I think that probably since I'm playing the full Trying to, anyway. We'll see if I get there. Uh, playing the full six, uh, you know, the full campaign, it may not matter. But, say la vie. All right. Uh, so, that was uh, Green, uh, who 
Did I play it all the way through? I did, because then I did the stop loss. Yeah. If I didn't, well, I made out. So, this is where you get in trouble. Because <laughs> if you're not take, keeping track of everything and you have to go backtrack. I don't know whether I did the green hit on this one. I'm going to say, yikes. Well, let's see. Do I have a white disruption marker? No, I don't. All right, so I'm going to say I did not take that green hit because I don't have a white disruption marker here. Or a, a, a light colored disruption marker, right? Because it's turn. No, it's turn two. Turn two. So the dark destruction mark or destruction markers are the ones that just happen. Yeah? I don't know. I'm so confused. This game's got a lot going on. And if you don't keep it straight, man, you're just out in the weeds trying to figure it all out. It's dark. Now, dark was turn one, so light is turn two. So I don't have any light ones over here. So yeah, I'm gonna say I did not take a lot. And if I didn't, if I already took one, then I'm just playing it where I'm gonna take two. Big deal. All right. So circle. I got an engineer that's a circle here. Um, and then these guys are in intense field of fire. I don't have a circle there. So really, then the choice is most steps. So I have that guy's disrupted here. Oh, no, wait, there it is, right there. There's the guy. There's the guy that got hit. Because that's what originally tipped me off, is that this guy was going to take a second hit, I think. I don't know. Uh, yeah, he got hit. That's, that's this turn's disruption. So we're, we're, we're good. We're good. All right, well, that wasted time, didn't it? All right, so that is Japanese fire phase. Second event phase does not start until turn seven. So now we're on the US action phase. All right, so let's see what, what we want to do. Uh, first things first, we gotta close combat this guy, right? And then there's this guy. I wanna reveal him so I can barrage. I can't attack and barrage on the same turn. But I can use that. I mean, it's a weak. Ah, what did I just do? It's a weak attack. It's only three on three. There's no, there's no terrain uh, bonus. So I could, at, uh, even if it's a, if it's a three on two, three to two, Japanese units alone, it's no effect. Right? So if it's three to two, it's no effect, but at the very least I reveal him and I can barrage his butt on the next turn. I gotta get him revealed. So I probably wanna go ahead and do that. If it's three to three, one to one, uh, he's gonna get a depth marker. I don't think, I don't think any of the sector two units are three strength. I know that's, you know, game in the game, but um, I think I'm okay to do a three to two. And at, at best, it could be three to one, which would mean the Japanese units eliminated. If it's three to one, I'm I'm on easy street. I can get rid of him. So let's hope. All right. So this lone dude, because his partner down here is disrupted, because he just got hit, is going to smack this guy. And it is a two. And look at that. It's a friggin' close combat. Oh shoot. Because that, my friends, unfortunately does this to it. I do not have the weapons. It is a three to two, right? That means I go up one. That means I come over and the unit is alone. Japanese gain one depth marker. Sweet sauce. Uh, and then I go over here and then uh, reveal the depth marker and recalculate the attack. So that's no bueno because then I go over here and something bad could happen to me. Okay, so Japanese gain a depth marker. So we go to our, so, oh, we're in sector two. Excuse me, sector two depth marker. And I reveal it. 
and it's flanking four all right so I now do not have uh, it is now uh, three to four so I'm at one to two all right uh, this turned out about as bad as it could be all right so all units in the hex with the most steps are disrupted do not count disrupted steps so that means my guy who's already disrupted doesn't get disrupted again. And then it comes over here and there's no effect. All right. Well, that blew, that blew really badly. All right, so since, uh, I'm sorry, my arm's in the shot. Uh, since this guy was disrupted on this turn by the hit, I will now just put the disruption marker on top of there. So now, yay, we've revealed him. However, now he's double the strength and he's close combat and flanking. Now the good news there is if I can, hmm, I've attacked him so I can't barrage on the same turn. Uh, and I can't attack with, that's what I should have done. Gosh, no, I couldn't, I couldn't attack with Nabal because he wasn't revealed. Or could I? Can I attack with Nabal? Do they have to be revealed? No. I should have just I should have just added a naval naval attack and gotten six strength on his butt. And then it would have been a different outcome. Well, it's too late now. That just really, really screwed me up. So yeah, that was that was a textbook bad strategy right there. Textbook bad strategy. Alright, these guys just are disrupted. They will lose their disruption marker. And then I will tilt them because they are done. All right, these guys need close combat. I've got these units right here. Can you see those? Yeah, these units right here. i try to use my left arm. On top of this stack, who could go in? I got these units right here. All right, now these units I'll get, I got eight pips, so I'll give me two cards. Here I got six units, that'd give me two cards, but I got a flamethrower. So that's where I want to go. This guy's disrupted, so I only need one card. So that's what's going to happen. These dudes are jumping in. They're going to close combat. So let's resolve that right now. Uh, close combat, he's going to get two cards. I'm going to get three cards. And he starts. So one, two, one, two, three. And let me zoom in to my close combat battlefield right here. Where are we? There's that, there's that, okay. Zoom out just a little bit, there we go. All right, this is us, this is that. Here we go. All right, so this is a yellow or orange or whatever it is, I hear people say both. All right, so, no yellows, no whammies, we got a yellow, crap. We don't have an event, so nothing bad happens there, but we take a hit, so that is a step loss. Uh, for this guy. And we lose a card. I'm not going to look at that card because I do not want to know that I had a yellow that I don't have anymore. And there we go. Dang it. No yellow. So he lives to fight another day. And he goes, no yellow. Uh, U.S. fire and counterattack. It's not a counterattack, so that event's not going to happen. All right, so I got one more shot at getting a yellow. No. Well, well, that sucked upon suck. Uh, so what that means is we have to move back. Oops, wait, that's not it. That's not it. I'm going after the wrong one. Uh, it is this guy? No. Where the heck? Who's that? Oh, it's this guy. Okay. So that means this guy is still disrupted. But now, so, so am I, right? Because it took a step loss. So that means I'm disrupted. Units are disrupted. So it is second turn, so that is a green one. And I'll put these guys on the bottom because these guys here, oh, these guys became undisrupted, right? 
Was that, oh, no, wait, 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 wait. These guys came from... No, those guys went over there. Uh, oh, these guys came from top of this stack. Yeah, top of this stack. Because the guys underneath them are already disrupted. All right, so that just means everybody here is disrupted. There's one big disrupted stack. All right, that sucked. That really, really was not good. All right, well, I'm sorry. You weren't even looking at that. Yeah, okay. There, I'm, I'm there. So, yeah, our disrupted units are under this stack where the entire stinking stack, because of stacking uh, uh, limits, is all disrupted, and the guys on top jumped in for close combat, and they got disrupted because they could not get one shot off. All right, so let's let's see about red. Let's see about red. Now red, I don't believe, is revealed. The red's just, we've been very lucky that they have not gone yet. So we're going over a bluff, so that means our attack is going to be halved. Ah... Uh, Shoot, 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 shoot. All right, we're gonna go over with these guys. This this group here, so it's eight and eight. So that's gonna be halved, which is eight. All right, so I got eight strength. Hopefully this guy's not, I don't think he's at three. He can't be at three. But hopefully he doesn't have uh, cloak combat or anything like that. Machine gun. Machine gun, hey, we have that. We have machine guns, so that guy it's overpowered, it's four to one, so he is defeated. All right, so these guys both went. Now, uh, I got the other guys right in front of that position group. I can split them up and go one way or the other, but I gotta draw two cards to see if somebody uh, rejuvenates and fires. So, I wish, that rejuvenation rule had like a starts on turn seven. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. Uh, I don't think it does. So there's rejuvenation. I know, I'm looking at the book. I said I wasn't going to look at the book, but sometimes you got to look at the book. Right? Uh, da, 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 yeah, it says nothing about... Uh, it's right here. Um, section 9.6. And... There is nothing about, uh, if you attempt to enter a non-Japanese position, so i got to do it with, for both of them. Um, but yeah, there's nothing about anything starting on turn 7 or anything like that. So i gotta, so I got to hope I get, uh, i got to hope I, I, I don't get two reds in a row. I think if I get the, if the first one's red, I'm not going to do the second one. Uh, Alright, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head left first. All right, I'm going to go into B5. First, no reds, no reds, no reds. Yes, look at that, look at that. We are good to go. So this guy is gonna jump into here and occupy that. Oh, that guy's an, ooh, that guy's an engineer. I don't want him to go anyway. That's the guy though, I shouldn't have landed him. So he should technically be back here and he should not be hit because he shouldn't have landed. I know, I'm backing up, I don't care, it's my game. Get off my back. Um, Cause he shouldn't have landed on turn one, he should have landed after turn one. He got hit on turn one, but he shouldn't have landed. So I'm gonna put him back one and unhit. All right, so that's one, I got that guy. This one here, I just gotta hope that I can, I can get into there. Um, now if I'm already in the position group, let's say I move this guy that way. If I'm already in the position group, do I have to draw for this one too if I'm moving them sideways and I move someone else here? Because I can move someone on top of here first and I don't have to draw. And then I can move this guy over here. I don't know if I have to draw because I'm in the position group. I don't know. We'll tackle that later. We'll tackle that later. All right. So that was that action. Uh, now these guys can move up without uh, too much problem. But first I want to try to take that guy out, the purple guy, because then these guys can move without fear of muff fire. My fire, that, that's redundant. Um, all right, so I'm gonna try to take this guy out. What do I have that's undisrupted? I only have a 3D. 
however, he's in the same position group. There is no uh, terrain. Now that worked out for me really horribly over here. Should I try it again? Oh, that's right. Wait, wait, wait. I can take this guy and I can add some firepower. Now he's going over bluff, so he's halved and then he's halved again. So it's only two, but five is a heck of a lot better than three. Uh, and then if he's a four, I should at least disrupt him. Or if he's a two, I should at least disrupt him. But if I can get six on him, if I can get six and he doesn't have a um, uh, a CC or a, or a uh, flanking requirement, then I can take him out. All right. So yeah, this guy here and this guy here who is not firing over a bluff. So actually, I can just do that guy and that's four plus three is seven. That should take care of him. And even if, even if it gets bumped back one, it's, it's seven, if that's a two, it's seven on two, it's three and a half, and if it's, um, so that would be three, three to one, and if it gets bumped down to two to one, at least he's revealed and disrupted. All right, so let's do that. I'm gonna do this guy and this guy. Bang. It's a two, but it's a mortar, and I have mortar. So he's gone. He gone. All right, toast. All right, so that was good. I can't try to move in because I don't have any other units that aren't disrupted. Um, however, this guy loses his disruption because that happened on turn one. Oh, that's right, this guy here, I don't know, am I over there, can you see that? All right, so I screwed up on this one over here. This guy actually gets a light colored. The guy who, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, this is the guy that jumped in and did close combat. These two here. These other dudes underneath him have this color. And they're going to lose their disruption on this turn. Some of them are going to get re-disrupted because I still have a huge stack. But at least there's that. So I'll take care of that disruption later. Uh, Alright. But I took out the... I took out... Which guy? I took out the purple guy. Alright, so he's good. These guys have gone. I'm going to back up just a little bit because I think it's getting a little close in there. Alright, so these guys have gone, or that guy is gone. Those guys removed their, their disruption. So nobody can move into here. Um, this guy went. Uh, that guy was just disrupted this turn. He got hit. The engineer could move. Yeah, I'm going to move the engineer up because I can. I got to make sure I keep these divisions separate. Because the fifth division is going to start moving that way. So, this is going to, I'm, after this, this guy's going to go that way. I'm going to send these guys up into these positions. Uh, okay, so that happened. This guy's still disrupted. Um, this guy did not go because I had this guy fire. So I could move him into here. Yellow is steady fire. I'm not going to be able to get away from yellow steady fire. But I could try. I can get both of these guys up in here. They're both one, so they would stay close to this uh, headquarters here because that's the uh, 123. So if I couple those two here, it should be okay. All right. So no... Yellow, I got a yellow, but it's a circle. Sweet. Steady fire, so I have to match both. And both of those units are a triangle and a diamond. So they move in there without issue. All right. Uh, this guy, let's see. Let's, 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 yeah, let's move this guy up in here to stay with is commander and then these guys these guys this guy can barrage on that guy but I'm gonna flank him and toast him right now anyway um, so I don't need to use that tank just yet but I want to keep him close but let's flank this guy oh, my, can I see that guy yeah you can see that guy in camera so let's flank this dude knock him out and then let's move the tank up in here although he would take well he would have to draw a tank yellow 
circle in order for him to do anything on him. So I can probably withstand that. All right, so let's flank that guy. I've got, yeah, I got, all I need is the two headquarters and then everybody else I can use on something else. So let's do that. Let's pop him with the two headquarters. Boom. He's gone. Right? So the two headquarters are used, and then this guy will move in here. Oh, but I gotta check. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta check. Um, make sure uh, blue unit doesn't come up. Because he's still in communication. Look at that. No blue. Sweet. Okay. Cool. So he takes that position without a problem. Um, what the heck happened to my... Where'd my guy go that was on top of here? Oh, I flipped him. Moron. Alright. So he's done. These guys lose disruption. I'm going to have to redo the disruption on the stacking, on the stacking but that's okay. This guy's going to lose disruption. This guy went, uh, the rest of these guys, that guy's disrupted, so he's going to lose his disruption. I don't know that I'm going to do anything with the tank and the engineer. I might, I'm going to put that guy on the bottom there, just so I know that I've got these two units still available to me. Alright, so now I'm over here. All right, so I got my green unit or the uh, the green position there. I got these units right here, full strength, ready to hit them. Uh, I think I forgot to do fire on this guy. I don't think it was a diamond though. All right, and this is where it'd be convenient if I had actually put the fire card over there, because then I could just go, oh, did this guy should have gotten hit? Yeah, he should have. Or no, we shouldn't have. Now I don't know. Because I don't know which card it was. How many of these cards have I used? I know purple was one of them. Right? I think it was this one. So it was a circle. So he's fine. Yeah, because it was the one where I said star and it's turn two. So yeah, that's the one. So he wouldn't have gotten hit in that black position. Alright, so anyway. Yeah, these guys are full strength. They're going to come in here and smack that guy they're going over a bluff so it's halved so that's 11 so that's five I can jump in with the engineer as well and give me 13 and just be very sure that that will be taken care of and then uh, I have nothing to jump into there with but that's okay I'll jump into their next turn with this full strength stack here so that if I end up having to do close combat I'll have I'll have the points. Uh, Alright, so that is as long as this guy isn't close combat or something stupid. Alright, so that is what? Blah, 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 is 14, 15 <laughs> on a one mortar. So that was way OP. So he's gone. Alright, so this guy went, the engineer went, the tank on turn five, can now repair because he's no longer in the field of fire. Well, currently, unless I try to move in here and somebody pops up. Uh, let's hope not. All right, so this guy, these guys are undisrupted now. Okay, so, all right, this guy still hasn't gone. I moved this guy into here without problem so I can move this guy into here. He's a 25 though. And this guy's a 23. I gotta make sure I'm trying to. Uh, he's gonna move in there. I'm gonna have all kinds of problems on turn seven because all these guys are gonna be all split up all over the board. Uh, that tank hasn't done anything, but he can't really do anything. I can move him up here. What's the point? Other than clearing the beach. I think I do wanna clear the beach. So the only way this is gonna be his is if it's a yellow with a tank symbol. And it's not. Okay. So the tank moves there, which can because there's no bluff there. Uh, so he's in position to, I don't know, lend fire or whatever. Uh, this guy will move into here to get off the beach. 
these guys still haven't done anything. These guys, can you see these guys? No, you can't because I'm not moving the camera. All right, so I got one group of dudes over here. That guy's going to lose his disruption. Oops. Why is a step loss on top of there? Gosh, see, this is what I hate about these huge stacks. Is, you know, with all these step losses, I don't, I don't know what that went to. I don't know where the unit was that this step loss goes to. What do I have on here? Ah. So what do I have? I got a step loss, I got a unit. I got a step loss, I got a unit, I got a step loss. HQ, these guys just went. So this has that on it and they would go away, but where the heck did this, did this step loss come from? I bet you it was supposed to be with this guy. Uh, I don't, I don't rightly know. There is a step loss there. It belongs with somebody. So I'm just going to have to say it was this guy and he took another loss because I don't know what else it could be. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to knock this guy down one more. He was the guy who went into close combat. Eh. I don't know what that came from. Alright, and then these guys lose their disruption. So these guys, I had waited to see, make sure I got purple. I did get purple, so these guys are all going to move up. Uh, I want to keep them towards this side because they got to start pushing around to get to uh, Saribachi. All right, and these dudes can move with them because it's a beach. Terrace, they can move one spot, so they'll all move up there. And I think that's everybody, right? Everybody's tilted. These guys just lost their disruption, so they're tilted. Um, all right, so that's good. That is the US action phase. Uh, it is not turn three, so we do not suffer Japanese artillery. It is not turn seven. We do not suffer raid. So that's it. I will clean up. I will load this video, and then uh, we'll go from there.